So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at m and Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where you see the final score there. Michael Pittman, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, we head on over to Wisconsin to check on the Packers at home at Lambeau Field. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Kyle Allen leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. And one more to highlight, a good one on Monday Night Football between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? Find out. We give it back to our commentator. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the drive... start out on the ground it's Saquon Barkley and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far well they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game that's allowed them to move the ball on offense but I've got to tell you to watch them run the football and successfully I'm not taking side but to see the ball in a running back's hands oh that's football for me Saquon Barkley and he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46 give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work and he's got this down to the 35 With that run, double check my math, yes, he, he has hit 8,000 career rushing yards. And that's fantastic. That means he's now approaching the top 50 all-time rushers in NFL history. That means he just sped past Terrell Davis, who's in the Hall of Fame. And now he's just got to go ahead and be strong and run hard because he's chasing down Larry Zonka. They'll run on first down. Barkley. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second and four. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that is caught. Oh, what a catch at the five-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal.
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slow. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Wonder, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 48-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Throw in deep for Galladay. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Browns are right back in this football game. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. The interception was a great starting point, but now they... Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They begin with a run by Barkley. Able to push his way through. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. He'll drop to throw. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. First down, Barkley. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike it here. Looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 
122 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction. So this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. They'll run on first down. Barkley. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. They'll run with Barkley. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from seven yards away. And the Giants look like they're going to be moving to 6-0 and as they extend that lead even. Big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Giants, they remain as hot as anyone.